you okay? Oh, my ankle. Hey, let me help you up. No, no, I can't. Well, okay, uh... Why are you topless? Well, I know it's warm. You don't see me topless. Nope. Look, just take oh. it easy for a second, yeah? Does it feel broken? I don't know. I've never broken any of my bones before. Well, let me have a look at it. Idiot. Pardon? Oh, God, no, not you. Sorry, not you. I wasn't looking where I was going. Fucking Facebook. You were on Facebook whilst running? Yep. Looking at my ex. Your ex? Why? That's what gets me running. Looking at my ex. I know I sound psycho, but I'd rather look at his irritating, well-groomed, <laughs> smug face than any angry rap music or be interrupted <laughs> by shitty Spotify adverts. Yeah, fair enough. Well then, it's not broken. It's probably just more of a sprain. Make sure you rest it when you get home, yeah? Really? Yeah, really. You need to rest that. Maybe even ice if you got. You're going to leave me here? Fine. Run off listening to your crappy Maroon 5 music. Hey, Maroon 5 are not crappy. Whatever. I can't believe you're going to leave me here with a spankle. <laughs> Sorry, a, a spankle? A sprained ankle. Sorry, force of habit. Oh, right. Well, uh, that's perfectly normal. It's normal. No, oh, you're not very good at this, oh, are you? It is not. <laughs> Help me up. You sure? Yep. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to run off and I'll have to try and get up by myself. <clears throat> oh, well, this can do one. What is it? Oh, uh, a running monitor telling me I'm a failure because my heart rate's dropping, therefore I'm not burning as many calories. Right. <laughs> and if I don't stop it, it'll tell me I can't have as much for dinner, so... Well, isn't that sort of defeating the object of wearing it? Seriously? You really want to do this? Do you live far? Um, I drove here. Oh, which side did you park on? West side car park, so not far from here. Yeah, good. Won't have to make small talk for too long then. I beg your pardon? Well, come off, I hadn't said it, that you probably would have. Fair. What's your name? Wait, let me guess. Guess. Matthew. Nope. Mark. Nope. No Luke or John before you guess. Look, this could go on for a while as I have. Aiden. How did you do that? Is it Aiden? Yeah, seriously, how the hell did you do that? I'm a psychic, aren't I? Weird, didn't think that was actually a thing. I've never met a psychic before. Actually, once this woman, she would. Water bottle. Water bottle? Your name, it's written on your water bottle. And before you ask, I'm Cheska. Cheska, as in friend? Cheska, as in Cheska. Right, okay. Well then, Cheska, as in Cheska. Shall I help you all the way to your car? That would be really nice of you, thank you. Oi! Whoa! Where do you think your hand's going? Well, I was just trying to... Yeah, I know you were just trying to, but a bit too soon for body contact, don't you think? You have to take me for a drink first. <laughs> I'll just take the shoulder, thank you. Okay. Don't suppose you mind giving me a lift to the bus stop when we get there? The bus stop? Yeah, the bus stop, the um, 1B to be exact. Well, you got the bus to go for a run? I certainly did. Is that a problem? No, I just, well, how old are you? 22. And you don't drive? I choose not to. Why? Wait. Don't tell me you're one of these wanky vegan yoga goers who thinks that car emissions are the fumes of hell. So we should all pack together on overcrowded public transport to save the world and create a better life for our offspring. Um... Because, if I'm honest, I don't want children. So I don't care what the world's going to look like in 50 years' time. I'd rather live selfishly and enjoy my time than stand next to someone who hasn't showered while trying to not get my purse stolen. Well, not exactly. Well then, what have you got against cars? My sister was killed in a car crash when I was 17. Oh, wow, no, something like a bitch. Uh, don't worry about it. It was ages ago now. I just don't fancy myself behind the wheel of a car knowing how easy it is to take someone's life. Bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. What happened? Uh, a driver just took a corner without looking properly and drove off. 
Police said he might have been a drunk driver. They knocked her off a bike. She was 14. She wasn't wearing a helmet. Shit, I'm so sorry. That's awful. It was years ago. It's fine. Wow. Yeah. Some people. Yeah. So, what do you do? Oh, I'm a graphic designer. Oh, nice. I love cartoons. Uh, see, that's more animation, really. I work more with uh, interface graphics. So, like the background on your PC or mobile. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Although, I'm awful with technology. I just about worked out how to use that thing. Uh. Your job sounds fun, though. I hate talking about my job. That bad, huh? Yeah, pretty bad. I'm going to sit down. Uh, yeah. You can sit down. I'm not going to hurt you. So couldn't your parents drop you off at the park? Say you get in the bus. Unless you like getting the bus, of course. Uh, no, I don't live with my parents. I live alone. Oh, couldn't wait to get out of my stupid family home. Away from pictures of me as a chubby child crammed into a tutu nailed to every wall. And commiseration certificates from school scattered on every surface. Judge's choice, best effort, that sort of thing. Why did you move out? didn't. What, so you just pretend your parents aren't there? You sure you want to ask? Because you're going to end up calling yourself a bitch again. Oh my god. They're divorced or <laughs> they all died, didn't they? My parents met at university. My mum was a computer scientist and my dad was doing English. Once they graduated, they moved here and had us, had kids. Two weeks after Nadia was killed, my mum just didn't come home one evening. I think she blamed herself. And they found her charm bracelet and purse washed up by the sea in Brighton a week or so after. It's where my parents got engaged. After that, my dad was never the same. He locked himself in his office and I moved away to university, but I decided I'd come back and surprise him. So I came back early before the half term and we had gone. Honestly, you have the most unfortunate life. Thanks. Oh, come on. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was really rude. I'm not very good in these situations. I don't really have a sympathy mode. I never really know what to say. Oh, don't worry about it. Is this your car? Do you remember much about your mother? As much as you'd expect a 17-year-old to remember. Birthdays, holidays, Christmases, that kind of thing. Is your car then? Yeah. Um, would you mind getting my key out of my leggings? It's just in the zip at the back. That's not a sensible place to store a key. Would you mind? That'll see for body contact, don't you think? Do you want to get your bus or not? So, did your mother ever talk about work? Not really. Why? Just sounds like an interesting job. Was Dr Rose working on anything important? She must have been really clever. Oh, she was clever. She always had me and my sister caught up in puzzles and brain teasers. What do you mean? I don't know, just number games, that kind of stuff. But she only gave us ones that she'd written herself. Yeah, they were hard. Do you remember any of them? Well, I've forgotten about them until now. Yeah. There's a point in my sister actually could do them quicker than me. And they talk about healthy competition. Interesting. Yeah, they all just sort of blur into one. I kind of put my past behind me. Why are you so interested anyway? Ah, no reason. Would you mind getting my bag out of the boot? My painkillers are in there. And then, I suppose, I'll drop you at the bus. I'll grab it. I suppose. I can't see it. Are you sure it's in it? Hang on, how did you know my mother's name? I don't remember mentioning it.
Yes, I've got him. I'll head over there now. Yes, he's still alive. For now.